Hey everyone, it's Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, today I want to showcase some examples of last non blank. So, this is a really, really effective formula, a DAX formula that you can utilize in Power BI. Now, I'll quickly just show you the way I've used it in this report um, and then show, show you how you can actually download this report. Um, I'll make this available uh, at the Enterprise DNA uh, resources page. Um, but what I what I want what I want to see is I want to see um, dynamically the last sale date, and I've also I'm going to showcase well how can we actually calculate the last sale amount. Now the great thing about this formula is it is dynamic, right? And so what we can do is we can click through our report and really drill into any aspect of our report, um, and you'll see that you know if we wanted to analyze okay well when was the last time to these particular customers did we sell product five well that will um, update for us right they will update for us based on the current context as well so there's a little bit obviously you've got to understand all of the context that you have on a particular result but if you wanted to showcase okay well, when was the last sale maybe you want to have it as a um, you know, a one-off card like I have in this example that showcases, you know, at any point in time based on any selection, when was the last sale? You know, you can see it quite dynamic in that respect. But also, you can utilize this in a different way. You can actually utilize this across different dimensions in your model, and that's also why it is a really effective formula. And it's actually exactly the same formula, which is really, really cool, right? So, a number of different ways we can utilize it. So, in, in this particular case, what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, well, we might want to have a table. We might want to have a table of information which shows us the last sale date for every different product. But we also might want to see, well, when was the last sale date for every single customer who bought it, who has bought off us? And so you can see you know, the difference. Um, you might want to analyze the difference. Well, how long has it been since they bought of us? Um, so on and so forth. And last lot non-blank enables us to do that. Okay, so let's have a look at the formula. And so it's relatively pretty simple, right? If you think about it. So what last last non-blank does is you put inside a, a table or column, I believe. Um, I'll just make sure that's right. And so we can put a, 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 a date column in there. And what we can do is we can go and evaluate, okay, well, what, when was the last sale uh, that, or in this case, sales, it could be, it could be different though, it could be, it could be some other calculation. Uh, when was the last sale that occurred for that particular um, element in our data, right? Uh, and so very quickly, um, you know, we can analyze and showcase uh, the last sale date. So as easy as that, right? As easy as that. But what's also cool is we can utilize the last one making in a different way as well. We can go and grab, um, we can go and work out what was the last sale amount. And so this is a really effective uh, formula too. And so what we can do is we can, um, instead of uh, utilizing um, just the last one bank, we can actually utilize it as a filter, which is pretty pretty cool, right? And so we can um, just calculate, instead of calculating, say, the date, the, the, the date result, we can actually calculate the sales result. And again, this is going to be dynamic based on the selections that we make, etc. Um, but last long bank is actually quite a versatile function. You can um, use it to um, actually retrieve a result, but you can also utilize it as a filter um, to filter results. Now, what last long bank actually does is it returns a table, and and um, the table though, in most cases, is just going to be the one result. And so, um, so so really, it's just going to actually bring one result. If it actually returned our table, what happens is that it would actually return. Um, it wouldn't be able to show a value, right? Because um, scalar values. Um, so these are these are scalar values, sort of singular values. Um, and so within tables, etc., you can't actually return our table. Um, uh, you can only return one-off results. And so last non long, non blank, whilst it's a table function. Um, it returns a table, it always only returns one value. Um, and so in this case, it's going to filter, it's creating a filter on one value, which is the last date. And then um, that filter is enabling us to go and extract the total sales on that last date. Uh, in the last sales date example, well, it's actually just returning literally the last date, the last sales date. Okay, so that's what I wanted to focus on today, last one bank. Um, now, what I will do though is you can actually, if you want to see how I've utilized it, see how I've showcased it here, see the formulas, etc. You can. I actually, um, I don't uh, do this often, but I have made this particular 
um, uh, resource which showcases a range of different techniques, not just this. I've made it available on the Enterprise DNA resources page. So you can actually download it and see how it's all done. You know, there's only a few there. Um, usually, usually I only make um, resources available to Enterprise DNA members. So, so certainly take advantage of it um, if you want to see how, you know, um, how, these, how, how these compelling reports and visualizations are created inside of Power BI. Um, you know, I give you the opportunity to um, download them here. So just navigate to the Enterprise DNA website and, you, and you'll see it there. But, um, you know, hopefully you understand last non-blank now, how you can actually utilize last non-blank in your reports. Um, you know, it's pretty effective, very effective formula. And, and, it, and it's, a, it's a different um, insight that you might ordinarily see. You know, it's not a core calculation. It's not like sales, costs, profits, margins, etc. It's actually something quite unique that could bring you know, um, you know, quality insights that um, you know it could be important to your business, to 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 um, you know to to the value you're trying to extract from your analysis. Okay, all the best with this one. Take care. I will speak to you soon. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.